Hey guys, today we're talking about how to make your own custom watch faces for Android Wear. Uh, here you can see is a custom watch face that I made of me and my wife on our wedding day. And to do this, it was really simple. I just used an app called Facer, which you download and install on your phone. And I'm going to go show you how to do that today. So here is, well, after I unlock my phone, which I'm showing you my lock pattern. So everybody knows my lock pattern now. But anyways, uh, here is my phone. And uh, this is the app called Facer. And this is a bunch of watch faces that I've downloaded for free um, from facerepo.com. And here is the one that I created. And you can see that you can create this for both round or square watch faces. And uh, to edit it, you just go ahead and you click on that little button there. And then the layers. And then this is the different layers uh, that make up my watch face. And uh, I selected a circle shape. I decided to do um, text for um, my time. Instead of doing an analog clock, I decided to do digital. And so let's say here's the text. Um, I positioned it. Um, chose the size, chose the color, um, do you want it bold, do you want it italic, uh, do you want it to display when the dis um, display is dimmed in the power saving mode, and the, uh, the layers at the top here are essentially what's at the bottom, and then the layers at the bottom are kind of what's at the top, so it's a little reversed, so the image is my bottom layer, uh, but you can move things around, you can uh, drag and drop uh, yeah, yeah, that's how you drag and drop. There we go. Um, and so it's pretty darn simple. Uh, what I suggest doing is starting off with somebody else's design um, and then modifying it. If you're a first-time user to Facer, that's the easiest way to start mo uh, getting into creating your own watch faces. Um, let's see. I Where's another one that I designed? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. There's another one. This is one of our engagement photos. Um, so here's another digital example. And then to send this to the watch face, um, first you have to have facer selected as your watch type. So you select facer. And then from the app, you go ahead and you hit this little sync button up here. And then go ahead and hit yes. And then sometimes this is really hit or miss, uh, especially with ones I've designed that are my own. Uh, sometimes I have to do this a couple times. I think it's because my pictures are such large files. But now you can see that I have my custom watch face on here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a quick, it's an easy app to use. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I think the app costs like two or three bucks, but it's well worth it. It's by far like the best watch face app you can possibly get. Um, and then I love the selection of all the different watch faces that you can use. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll show you watch repo. Or I mean, not watch repo, uh, face repo. Yeah, facerepo.com. I check this site like once a week just to see all of the new designs. And there's both round and then square watch faces you can download. Uh, and you can modify these for your phone. But yeah, I'm, it's a great little app. It's easy to use. Um, and it gives you virtually an infinite number of possibilities of watch faces to use. And it's really cool to show somebody your phone or your watch and be like, oh, yeah, here's a custom watch face I built for my, for my watch. Um, I think that's one of my favorite things about a smartwatch is that I can have pictures of me and my wife on my watch. I just think that's so darn cool. But anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, have you tested it out? Have you made your own watch faces? If so, uh, link to them below. I'd love to see what you guys came up with. Uh, and I always love hearing your feedback. So I'll talk to you later.